Hey guys, Proper English here. If you watched my GPU update the other day, you saw that I was having an issue with piston bugs in my ellipse drawer and that I had to do a big rebuild on, uh, on a good chunk of it. And I wanted to share what this bug was so you guys don't have to deal with it in your builds. This is something that's exclusive to 1.3. I tried in 1.2 and it wasn't a problem. And let's take a look. And there we go, we've got a dirt piston down here. It appears that this is happening because when the bottom piston extends and the top piston retracts, there's got to be some kind of a block update going on in here. And we get this double-headed piston. It has to do with this one tick offset from the torch. And, uh, and yeah, so what prompted me to do this video is not only was I having an issue with this, well, some other RDFers were having an issue and they asked me about it the other night and I thought, well, maybe this is more commonplace than I thought, and I should show people so they know what's going on. And there we go. This is the setup that they were using, and we get the same issue because it's, you know, it's essentially the same thing. And yeah, so the other thing I wanted to do today was give you a little bonus and take a look at the ellipse drawer. And, uh, and yeah, it's just about done. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'll show you an output that I got last night when I was doing some testing. And let's go take a look. All right, so this is the ellipse drawer in its current state. If you saw the video the other day, you'll see that it's quite a bit different. Um, we've got all of these control lines in right now, and I've color-coded them, and, uh, and I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to move around too much because of the frame rate, but this thing is on its way to completion. I ran some tests last night, I'm going to run some more tests tonight and get a screen set up and so hopefully very soon I'll have a video for you showing you how this works. But just to give you a, uh, a quick preview, let's jump down to the ground and, uh, and I can show you the output from one of my tests. So this is the output of the test that I ran last night. I was trying to draw a circle and, uh, and yeah, so it looks like it's pretty good. The way you would draw a circle with this thing is having the uh, radii be the same, but you wouldn't really do that. I'll have a separate circle drawer because it'll be much faster than that monstrosity up there. And uh, and yeah, so it's coming along. I'm going to test some ellipses tonight, and uh, and yeah, so then, then we should be set. It's going to be cool. I'm excited about this one. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you can use the information that I presented uh, to avoid some of the issues that I had to deal with and, uh, and you won't have to waste time rebuilding all of your stuff or struggling with trying to fix things and not understanding why they're happening. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.